I'm currently working with the uh, uh, Ghana Auto Pignity Group, which is the Ghana language body, uh, but also myself uh, with the family. Uh, I also, uh, we have a family cultural performance group, and so we introduce a lot of language through that, and we're bringing back a, uh, a lot of uh, traditional songs or cultural songs, Ghana songs, uh, through the cultural performances, but uh, through the Ghana KWP is uh, creating um, and resources for Ghana learners. Well, it makes me feel a bit more complete, I think. Uh, like I say, growing up a, as an Aboriginal man, not knowing your language is uh, sort of a sense of not being a complete person, so language helped to complete me who I am and uh, um, solidifies my identity, I guess. Learning the language helps to put culture into uh, perspective and helps people to understand the country in which they live. I think if we look right across uh, Australia, or even in Adelaide, we have places like uh, uh, Nyanki Baringa, um, uh, Tarichila, Nyankalila, uh, Wilanka, all those places tells us something about that region, whether it be a cultural activity or the landscape itself. So it, uh, the language holds the secrets of the land as well. I think it's just recently is watching this new, next generation come through, uh, uh, as you've heard right through uh, uh, the last day or so where people uh, like myself grew up on missions where we, we, we spoke broken languages or just aspects or certain words in language and often speaking many different languages uh, and not differentiating but now that we can identify my own language, uh, my mother's language and my father's language uh, is fantastic but to watch the, the next generation come through and to speak it with fluency it's, it's, uh, uh, it's very heartwarming and inspiring to see the next generation coming through and then just uh, hanging out with my grandkids and uh, watching my son teach them. Uh, I always notice that uh, uh, you can walk around town and you, you watch people walk and then you go to uh, a place, a community where, where people are, uh, still have their culture, they still have their language, they know who they are and they tend to walk a little bit different to the people who don't know their language and don't know their place. They, they walk with a lot more pride and a lot more dignity, so it's that inner strength that it provides for our people. And in five years' time, I'd, I'd like to see my, my grannies rattling it out, not only speaking the language, but also helping their father sing songs and to do ceremony as well.